Today we have another budget battery from China and this one cost me $175. That is crazy. These used to cost over $900 for this capacity at this nominal voltage. So it's mind blowing. I think we're at peak cheap Chinese batteries because these the tariffs are coming. I and mean, no matter which way you vote, we're gonna get tariffed and we don't have the manufacturing capacity. So these are going up in price. But man, it sure was nice while it lasted because not long ago, this capacity with lithium iron phosphate used to cost $900. And now they're literally a fraction of the price. But it's from China, so we need to look inside and see if we're actually getting what we ordered. Now first, I did a capacity test and it actually passed, which is pretty surprising because the numbers I got were up there with the more expensive batteries. The budget batteries, they'll pull just over 100 amp hours, but this did 105 amp hours, which is pretty impressive. Next, they claim it has overcurrent protection, so we're gonna test that. Next, they claim low temperature protection. And at this price point, that's pretty uncommon. So we're gonna test that as well. And then the ad says 15,000 cycles, which is very questionable, but who knows? It might actually have it. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Now, before we rip it apart, we have to do surge testing. And this is my new surge station. So before we had this on my desk and it was really big and hard to film, but now I just mounted it on a wall. We can connect any battery we want. And yes, this might be a fire risk, but it's fine. I, I'm gonna put a cool fan on it eventually it will be fine now on the listing it says that the overcurrent protection is tripped at 300 amps plus or minus 50 amps so let's try 270 amps and see what happens we have our fluke meter we'll do remote viewing I love this thing this is the best meter in the whole wide world it always connects and it logs the data over time and you can record it this way I don't get sued so first we press record Oh, it worked. Wow. 269 amps and it turned itself off. That is not common with budget batteries. Usually the overcurrent protection does not work. So we're going to decrease the current. Actually, that was more than 269. That was almost 300. So let's test again. 230 amps. We just hit a minute. Uh oh, these resistors are getting really hot. All right, two minutes and it's still running. I'm gonna shut it down. And these resistors are giving off lots of heat. It feels like I'm sitting next to a fire right now. Now let's do a dead short test to see if the overcurrent protection can catch and trip that. And if this battery is damaged from the last test, we'll know about it right now. So let's see what happens. That's gonna be 600 amps. Turn it on. 524 and it turned off instantly. That's a good sign. Let's see if it turns itself on and then trips again. And it's not turning on, so let's turn it off. Remove the load and then add it. There we go. And it tripped again. It actually works. It did a good job. Now we're gonna lower it below 300 amps again. 230 amps. Oh, there we go. I totally missed it. It turned itself off. So we have an over temperature on the BMS. It was only two minutes and it turned itself off, but it's only rated for 100 amps. So if I were you, I would add a 120 amp fuse to this just so you're not pulling that many amps because that could cause some problems actually. They need to lower the overcurrent protection. It works, but it's a bit high, but it did pass the test. So now we can rip it apart and see if we broke anything. best budget battery I've seen. The cells are in place with metal brackets. All the other ones are tape and foam. Now let's test out the low temp charging protection. Now we're charging with 10 amps. And here's the temperature sensor and some ice water. Oh, it works. And it worked well, it worked quickly. Let's warm it up. And it works was not expecting this one to be this good. This is incredible. And the build quality is nice. Look at these welded terminals. Everything is torqued and glued. The balance leads are protected. And these cells look new. The QR code is not scratched off. And the main terminals, there's some epoxy around it. 
Not bad, guys. Good job. This might be my new favorite budget battery. This is objectively better than Elite Time, and it costs less money. How are they doing it? It looks so cheap on the outside, but on the inside, it's so nice. They need some better advertising, because you know, this sticker on the front, you just think you're gonna get grade B cells or something. But no, you're getting something better than most of the other batteries. Now, one question I have is I don't know this company at all. So if you guys get a dead on arrival unit and you can't contact the company or if you have any warranty issue claims, please let me know about it on the forum. For this video, I bought this battery, so I don't know this company. So if you get scammed, please let me know. For me, this thing is fantastic. I got a fantastic battery. Also, I wonder if they have big batteries. I didn't check anything about them. I saw a cheap battery and I bought it, but it does make me curious to see what else they're making. But yeah, overall, not bad. I'm actually pretty impressed. Also, these screws I took out. I was gonna try to do it before I cut it open, but yeah, I found a better way. And that's pretty much it. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.